Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. And with that out of the way, we can activate our chat. Hello, everyone. Okay, so today our job is to start working on this block breaker. Yes, I should put that on my list so I don't forget it. Now, that's going to require these spike traps, and they are going to require machine frames. And as we all remember, machine frames mean doing the cog dance. We don't want to do the cog dance. Not this many times. So it is time to start working out how we can never do the cog dance again. Yes. With the unlocking of Buildcraft, we've unlocked these auto workbenches, and these are beautiful, beautiful things. They're relatively cheap. It just costs a regular old crafting table and these stone gears, which is just a regular old gear surrounded by cobblestone. It's a little bit of gasoline, essentially, is what it's going to cost you. Speaking of, it's time to refill the gasoline barrel. And what those will do is those can be programmed with any old recipe, any old crafting bench recipe, and they will just craft it automatically so long as they have items. They don't cost any power to run. They automatically filter their own internal inventory. They are, frankly, a little bit overpowered for how cheap they are. The only thing that stops them being completely broken in this pack is the fact that well, there aren't really a whole lot of uh, actual crafting table recipes. They're mostly artisan table recipes is where things go. Bucket. We should have bucket in our inventory. That's not an occasional use thing. Bucket is eternal. Let's keep it daytime for now. Really, honestly, I don't really need nighttime anymore. The village is far bigger than it needs to be. If I keep on letting the population increase and in advance, maybe maybe I'll start getting lag from just too many villagers around. Hmm. Regardless, yes, let us start working on this beautiful, beautiful thing. So, first... We're going to need a ton of crafting tables. So let's start working on that. Stack of those. Uh, where's my pyrotech ash there? A stack of those. And of course, the ever venerable crafting axe. Beautiful, ancient wisdom of the crafting axe. Yes. Oh, it's almost dead. But that's fine. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to... Hmm? Hello. What did Windows have to inform me about? Windows decided to finally inform me that I am live. Wow, I didn't know. Am I technically subscribed to myself? That sounds narcissistic. Hello, Blood Devon. Welcome to the chat. All right. In case you were wondering, right now we are working on making some crafting benches to make auto work benches. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, I'm going to need just a few of these masonry bricks. That's good enough, really. I don't need to make the whole stack that I lined up. I just need to make enough to get by. And I'm going to need some andesite. Uh, I should have some andesite in stock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And the reason that we are doing this is so that we never have to do the cog dance again. Ever. Never, ever again. So. That's exciting, exciting times. Let's just craft all of those into workbenches. And obviously, at one point, I'm going to want to automate the process of crafting workbenches. We can start automating all the things. Isn't that exciting news? Okay, so. Switch this over to gas. We aren't destroying much lava. It's fine. Yeah. 
No more doing the cog dance. We are going to make a machine to do it for us. That embarrassment and shame shall no longer be ours. Stack a cobble. Mm-hmm. Never craft another cog in my dang life, I tell you what. Okay, and that's a lovely pile of those to make a lovely pile of these auto workbenches. And I'm not going to craft all of them just yet. So, how many am I going to need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, hot damn. Yeah, eight. Well, we're going to be using a lot of gasoline, really. Another reason that I want to get the cog dance done is um, I'm going to want to start making build craft in mass. And everything build craft uses gasoline. Everything. So, okay, the other thing we're gonna need right now is we're gonna need a lot of wooden hoppers. Like a lot, a lot of wooden hoppers. Like I'm probably gonna wanna cast out some more... N Do I have more nuggets? Do I have any more nuggets in storage? I do. Okay, and let's just eight, 16, 24, and some change. Get out of here. And get in there. In you go. And let's just craft as many chests as we can get. So, yeah, that's five per. So, 10, 15, 20, and then let's see how many we have left. Oh, we already had nuggets in there, too. Okay, well, let's just completely run this out. This is probably more than we need just for the cog dance. Which is just what we're getting done right now. And yes, we want to start upgrading those into wooden hoppers. Which, I don't have enough glue. I need to make a stack of glue. We'll do that in a bit. We have enough for now. Do I have enough of these? Probably not, no. Hmm. Well, let's get some more of that on the cast. Just turn a stack of copper ingots into a stack of copper rods. Get that crafting. Yep, that's already in there. Are you on? You are. Why are you on? And we're also probably going to need some more tier 1 rods, aren't we? Yeah, it's been a while since we made those. So that's going to be running through our pulp. Uh, let's get some more. Let's just into this. There we go. That's a ton of pulp for us. And then that's going to require what? Uh, compressed stick and stone rod. Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, stone rod is not automatable. So the cog dance is never completely automatable. Or at least, if there is a way to automate it, I don't have access to it just yet. Yeah. I mean, is there any reason why not? Why not a lot of pulp? Let's just be bold. We have the resources to throw them around. So let's throw them around. That sentence got away from me. You know what? Here. Yeah, as far as I can tell... There is no easy way to automate this. Maybe I could do it with computer craft robots, but we won't have access to those for a long while. And there is no alternate recipe for stone rods. Yeah, I can't even put a hopper on these things. Just so that I can stick to my pickaxe. So this sucks. Eh, two stacks is enough for now. But if that's the only thing I need to do to facilitate the cog dance, that's such an improvement that I'm okay with it. 
So now just grab a stack of these, turn them into a stack of those. And then turn that into however many of these it will give me. And from there, we just need our copper tool rods. Yes, I have never played with computer craft. So that will be... Well, honestly, that will probably be a couple of days of me derping around with them in single-player mode in my test world. Figuring that out behind the scenes. But that will still be exciting. I'm not great with Lua. I know a little bit of it. I know that Computer Craft essentially gives you the ability to start creating custom scripts in Lua. Is its big thing. Wait, are these tough rods? Shoot, these are tough rods. Good thing we caught that. Good thing we caught that. Okay, well I can put away the remaining pulp. And get you going. Yeah, nothing wrong with just melting down miscast parts. Okay, so... Hooper... How many can we get right now? Oh, we need wood, of course. We need wood, of course. Oh, boy. Okay, well, well, well. Uh, what does a stash cost me? Just some boards and some pulp. I don't have any slabs. Oh, boy. Do I have any in storage? Uh, just a little bit. And just three of those, right? Three or four. Four. And it was like this, right? Yeah, that makes a stash. And we'll just throw that out. And then, do I have any tarred boards in storage? Yes, I do. As well as, of course, these, because we might as well make the upgraded form right away if we can. And we'll use that just to hold on to our jungle wood. Because we do want a little bit of jungle wood in stock. Actually, in my research, I think jungle wood might be better for automation. Because um, the better way to automate, fully automate wood, once we have a means of farming logs, is probably in the carpenter. And these planks, these fireproof planks, they have no carpenter recipe. Jungle planks, they do. Yeah, that's just wood pulp. And wood pulp we can, of course, just make for more logs. So that can process in a carpenter just fine. And you want to do it in a carpenter because, as far as I can tell, even if you have them on autocraft, there is no way of inserting fresh saw blades into the sawmill. So that would make it a machine that needs to be maintained by hand. And that's just against my religion. You know? So. We need a wood that's compatible with Carpenter. And, and the really funny thing is... The non-fireproof Sequoia... Like, there's, there's Planks Fireproof and Planks Regular. The regular can be done in a carpenter. It's just these fireproof ones that can't. And unfortunately, the fireproof ones are what grow. And they're the only ones, to my knowledge, that I can get saplings for. So, that sucks a little bit. Okay. Get those. Oh, right, and I would need more refractory clay, wouldn't I? We have so many things to automate ahead of us. Isn't it lovely? So... Those, those, those. Get those away. And that's got a little bit of tier 2 sticks for us to play with. Just a little bit more than a stack, I think. Those are all our tier 1s. 
Why are there two of the same wood? Because one is fireproof and one is not. And that is a, uh, I think that's related to forestry tree breeding. Where, um, all right, I should have. Where you can breed traits into trees like fireproof. So these sequoias have been bred to be fireproof. Just implicitly in the pack. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, that's not friendly with carpenters. Okay. Okay, hopefully that's enough. This should be uh, enough wooden hoppers to get us by. Eh, let's, let's get one more. Two hoppers for each one. Yeah, I have never done forestry tree breeding. I've done bees, but I've not done trees, and I've not done butterflies. It's very similar from what I can tell. It's just that you do it like manually with a grafter or something. Okay, next up, let's switch it back to daytime. And let's get a little bit of cobblestone just to start building a bit of a platform by hand. Oh, I'm also gonna need glowstone, aren't I? Do I have any in storage? Uh, not really. Unless it's in miscellany. Why would it be, but... Nah. Oh, sweet. A few extra. Okay, let's hop by the abyss real quick. Do I have... Let's get rid of those. Do I have a chisel on me in my bag? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, also... You know what? I can start carrying around the tank set with me. Just in my bag. Yeah. We can uh, we can have tank on demand. Anyway, anyway. Yes, I have the dust. But you know the thing about the dust is... Hold on, after I teleport, let me show you. If I want to make glowstone blocks out of the dust, I would need to do it in a carpenter with lava, or I would need to do it in a mason's workshop with nine of them and liquid clay. I can't just manually boosh four of them together into into glowstone like classic Minecraft. So if I can more easily get loads of glowstone just by quickly digging it up from the abyss, that's probably the way to go. Come on, lag. This is a bad one. Okay. Yeah. So crafting it, probably not on the menu until I am mass automating. Like, I plan to have auto-generating lava, and I plan to have all the parts under construction for, like, so the, that I can start creating masses of carpenters, because you need to. You need one carpenter for every recipe that you want carpenters to craft. But, um... Yeah. That won't be for a while yet. And I suppose that, yeah, when it, when it does get to that point, if I want to keep a stock of glowstone blocks, that carpenter recipe is probably the way to do it. But in the meantime, just to get a stock to decorate our base with and keep it lit, this is probably the way to go. And I don't think... I'm, I'm sorry, you'll, you'll have to put up with reduced field of view for a little while just because I'm going to grab a couple of stacks. Nah, I might as well. I might as well. It's fine. What do I want it to decorate as? Uh, I wish... I don't know why it does this, but... The textures on all the glowstone blocks are offset. Like, they're not centered. And I hate it. I hate it, precious. So I have to put up with... I, I, I have to use something that actually is fit to the thing. I think bismuth tiles are. Yeah. Or at least if they are off-center, they're less obvious about it. So bismuth tiles is probably what we're going to use.
And yeah, let's just grab a couple stacks. Let's also, let's put them in our bag just for ease of uh, convenience. Not having to clunk our shulker boxes down. Shulker boxes are better for bulk, though, especially when we are sharing space with all our tools. I shouldn't keep calling them shulker boxes. They don't have the full function fun yeah, functionality of a shulker box. Oh, boy. I'm stuck because of the weight. Eh, where has been the tile? There it is. And get in there. Eh, a couple more stacks. A couple more stacks. I uh, yes, and note that I have uh, glowstone-itis up in the corner there. Yeah, I'm all glowy. I presume it's because I've got covered with glowstone particulate. Uh, they are technically called crates. But yes, they don't have the full functionality of a shulker box. They can't be moved by pistons, which means I can't make a vanilla-style autoloader for them. But other than that, they are basically shulker boxes. Yes, the beautiful glow squid. Majestic creature. Believe it or not, I've not been playing the modern builds of Minecraft. I've been playing, like, older builds because I only play modded. I have never seen a glow squid. <laughs> okay, and the rest we can just throw out for now. Okay, and... Back home we go. Well, I mean, it's pretty. A thing that's just pretty isn't entirely useless. I mean, you could make an aquarium for them to, like, spice up your base. I mean... And a meerkat doesn't mirror. Does that make them any less a meerkat? Actually, do they make a noise that sounds like mirror? Hmm. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. But yes, just in the meantime, I'm going to buy a little bit of cobblestone from the villagers just to build a small initial platform just to start getting this production going. So, lay down my box, and why, oh, because I don't have my money out, of course. Need to remember to set myself to capitalism mode. And just as much as you'll sell me, please. Good old healthy cobble. And really? You won't sell me any more? Wow, they're out of stock. Yeah, that is why we need to work our way up to a cobble gen, because we are going to need more cobble than that. And I mean, technically I could go under the island and I could start excavating dirt. I could start quarrying up granite. I could get it myself, but that's not fast enough. Not for the size we want to build. Oh, that reminds me. Do I have the train track blueprint on me anywhere? Do I have my super builder anywhere? Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, so... We're also going to need a bit of smooth stone and a bit of iron. 
I'll just keep that in my bag because that weighs some. And now we need to start deciding where we're going to set this down. I probably want to work off the north of the oil field. Ah, yes, yes. That rem Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I should chisel it first. And in fact, I should do something to help me chisel it. I should make myself an eye modifier for my chisel. So, what does go into the eye modifier? Just two redstone? Well, I wonder if we can afford it. I don't know. What do you think, Devin? Can we afford two redstone? It's so expensive. Okay. I modifier. And that should allow me, after I put that on the old chisel. I know. And that should allow me when I go on up there. Uh, God is angry at what we are planning. It's glorious. Hmm. Now, let's kind of... Let's try and decide what we want to do for layout here. So, if I take this down and if I just shove everything into my pants. Like... Like a rabid chipmunk with a horde of nuts. And a pair of pants. Then I should be able to... I know. Yeah, I should be able to chisel all. And that should... So I think I'm going to go with my same floor pattern that I have going on in my base. Celtic with mosaic on the cornerstones following around the glowstone paths. It works. Chisel all, please. Yeah, that took a hunk out of our chisel, but it can handle it. And then we can put that all back in for the meantime. While we futz around how we're going to want to lay this out. So, keep one stack on us. Daytime, please. So, I think that I'm going to want to make two layers of platform. One for just the top layer that I'm working on, and one for like a maintenance layer. So, we'll make the maintenance layer as low as we can get it, down on sea level. And then to get up higher onto it, let's see here. That would be a two taller, right? Yeah, that's big enough to walk around in, but I want it one higher. So our platform will be built at this level. One higher level than the... Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the fun... No, wait, that's still only too tall. Yeah, that's... If I draw that out, that's still... Okay, I want it one taller than that. One taller than that. And then just... If I test that out... Yeah, that gives me a little bit of headroom in my maintenance layer. Okay, that'll work. So then we can just, like, run this all the way back to the shore. It's one higher than the baseline of the island. Yep. We're designing for swankiness. We're designing for luxury. We are designing for decadence. Decadence has been our watchword. So you lower you down, just so you're out of the way. Okay, so... Yep, I think on this rock I shall build my church. So let's get on out here. Let's shove everything back in our pants. Inch forward. And get our train blueprint out. 
as well as the materials it needs, which I can't quite fit in my pants anymore. So we set this to WDW. Where is it? The track wood crossing. There it is. And crossing slope, turn switch, turntable is what we want. And rail bed none, rail bed fill, cobblestone Celtic. There it is. And that uh, gauge Brunel. Get it as chufty as we can get it. So then, what is, let's see if I can get it a 15 radius. So if I just lay that out, how big of a platform do I get? Not bad, not a bad start. Put everything away. It's a start. It is a start. What the heck? And with that, we can just put that away. And let's start lighting this thing up. Let's also get me some water. And let's let's lay out the pathway to it a little bit better. But yes, I didn't have builder's wands, so I goddamn researched and janked and exploited my way into getting something Honestly, probably a little bit be better than a Builder's Wand there. Yeah, I know. I mean, the Shulker chests, the crates that I should stop calling Shulker boxes, they're okay. They are the same size as the bag. But just the fact that I don't need to pick up the bag to use it, that bag of holding is pretty great. Mm. And technically, it would allow me to nest my crates inside of it, even when they're full, I think. Yeah, if I load this up, then I can just straight up load that in there. So yeah, I could be carrying a ton of stuff in here. Okay, and let us decide where to put our... I don't think I can put a bag in a bag, nor can I put a loaded sh uh, crate in a crate. But they are cross-compatible with each other. So, F7 mode. Doop and doop. And thankfully, Chiseled Glowstone doesn't mess with F7 mode. Isn't that lovely? So, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, and now I can just kind of judge it by the light level. Yep. Two, three, four. Good, good. And yep, you see, laying out the grid like this, we get nice even lighting. And it's easy to place, just look for the first, look for the first bit of light that's missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As well as over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Boring work, I know, but 
it needs to be done. And it needs to be done right away before I forget about it. And I might very well forget about it because I'm just so used to not having monsters spawning anywhere. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, platforms all lit. We have ourselves a little bit of a working surface. <laughs> Yes. I don't know if we can recursively nest them inside each other by alternating like that. We might be able to. We might technically have infinite inventory space. Okay, so... Next thing to test is, is my maintenance layer lit by this pattern? So, let's take this out. as well as our lovely uh, train track. And let's make a smaller platform, just a radius 10, I think. And take everything out. And just a layer out. Yeah, there's some dark spots, so we need to be mindful of that too. When we expand the maintenance layer, we need to light it up separately. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically I could just spotlight it, but eh, we might as well be decadent. We can just follow the pattern anyway. Okay, and right down there. I'm bad at 3D manipulation. Well, it's still not a very fast process of construction, but can you imagine if we were building this completely by hand? Yeah. Yeah, screw it. Just light it up. It's fine. It's the maintenance layer. It doesn't need to be terribly pretty. Okay. And with that, we have the first... The first little uh, nodule of our base kind of laid out for us. Wait a minute. Did I forget to pick up the materials from the tracks? Did they just... Did they just kind of... Uh... Yeah, that looks like they got... No. Huh. Well... Oh well. Also, take that off my hand. Hello, 12th Century Fox. Welcome to the stream. Ah, there they are. They're not gone. 
they're just misplaced. Yes, you, uh, you missed an instance of me using my janky little railroad building trick that I discovered. I suppose we might as well decorate. Yeah, if I don't, then I'll never get around to it. Okay, I need at least one example of uh, what I'm decorating, I suppose. There we go. And then I can set this into mosaic. There we go. Hmm. Neat. Neat. No, it won't remain a landing pad forever. Eventually, this is just going to expand into a big-ass platform. Just of construction goodness. Oops. Uh oh did I misplace a light block? No, I guess it, it just needs it over there. Well, good thing that we keep F7 mode on by default. Eh, no, let's... This, this should be the pretty layer. Let's lay it out properly. Also, carry my dang box with me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... And that got it. Ah, uh, yes. Also, we're going to need to lay out some tinder on this, aren't we? Because even where... Well, no, let's just switch it to daytime. If we keep it daytime, then we shouldn't suffer hypothermia. And that's good enough to fix the problem. Okay. Now, let us begin the final cog dance. So, 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 so. I think that this first... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not done decorating yet. Never mind. So, I need to set this into... Mosaic once more. And now start doing this. Yeah, yeah. I need Tinder to keep me hot. <clears throat> Ain't that just how life goes these days? Uh-oh. Misalignment. Well, obviously the misalignment is, uh... An easy enough fix. And yeah, let's just... Swap that out by hand instead of re-chiseling. And there we go. <sighs> All the hotness. Yes, yes. My glorious, wonderful hotness. Shoot. My glorious, wonderful, derpy hotness. But nah. We, we can just get it from the sun. It's fine. Hmm. Okay, is that all of it done? No, not yet. Well, it's still not a super fast process, but it's a lot faster than doing it entirely by hand, ain't it? Okay, so... I think... this first square... 
Chisel mod is really nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can get a good source of factory blocks, but um, in fact, laboratory block is, for whatever reason, the final quest of this chapter. And you know what it takes to make a single laboratory block in this pack? It takes... Where is the proper recipe? There it is. It's going to take petroleum-infused ingots, super diamond, quartz, just cobblestone. But, yeah, it's going to take it a lot just to make a single block. And that's super diamond. That's multiple blocks of electrotene and redstone and diamond. I know. And to my knowledge, there is no crafting use for laboratory blocks. They're still just decor blocks. I don't know why they're so expensive. But that's life, I suppose. In any case, let us start doing the final cog dance. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think so. So, this will be storage layer. One more for luck. Let's start crafting our cogs right here. So... In this, and I didn't bring any materials with me. Uh, regardless. Okay, so let's count it out. Cog. Yes, this pack does have Emmy. Um, we won't unlock it for a while. Let's see, it's not six, it's not seven. We won't lock it, unlock it until chapter eight. And for reference, chapter eight is after we go into advanced rocketry and start going to other planets. So we won't be seeing that for a little while. Okay, so obsidian, diamond. Do I want to get some shelves to create a buffer storage for these? I kind of do. Okay. Let's get some extra storage for our gears. Yes, at the very least we go to the moon. Um, I know that there's actually a couple of planets in the pack. I think that the nether is in this pack as a planet and not as the usual dimension that you just go to. Okay, okay. To the moon, yes. Wonderful moon. Uh, I'm also going to need some slabs, aren't I? Yeah, just get those to me, please. And don't lag. Please, game, don't lag. Mm, this is bad. Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Maybe maybe the next time AdSense sends me a payment, I can invest in some more RAM. Do you think that would help? Hmm. I mean, I have 16 gigs of RAM right now. That's sh pretty good-ish. Okay, so, shelf. Um, yeah, I have 16 gigs and half of it's dedicated to Minecraft right now. Only half. If I dedicated more, that it actually gets worse because then the OS doesn't have enough. Yeah, I'm only going to fall for that so many times. Hmm. Well. Yep. Yeah, maybe, maybe we will. Maybe I'll invest a little bit. So I'm going to want obsidian, diamond, and gold in storage, because... Those are the three that we use, I think, because I need gold for nanomachine frames, don't I? Yeah, I need gold for the nanomachine frames. Oh, wait. I don't want to store those there. Just store those in the, in the box I made for them. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, maybe I should move the storage system over here sooner or later. Sadly, I think the old house space will kind of be relegated into the past sooner or later. We're probably going to eventually set up everything over here. Okay, so... Final storage shelf of obsidian gears here. Hopper leads in. Uh, yes, I have two sticks of eight gigs, is what I run on. So then... It's going to need to... Like that and like that, right? Eh... Can I make that a little bit less vertical? Yeah, if I that and that other way, please. I want it all facing one direction. Get out of there. And then I can, oops. I can completely fail and scroll reel. But then I can do this. Yeah, we're making kind of a stairway of crafting. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so... There is obsidian. There is diamond. And then let's... Let's turn this thing. So... And there is gold. Uh, mechanism is in the pack, but we won't unlock it for a while. Uh, mechanism is... Rock Crusher, that's... Is it chapter 10? Yeah, mechanism won't be unlocked until chapter 10. So, uh... Yeah, it's technically in the pack. Okay, so there is, get back my cog recipe. We're down to, there's iron. Bone. Flint. Stone, and finally, wood. And just kind of lightly tower up awkwardly. Okay, so now we just need to, yes, the, the beautiful spiral of the cog dance leading up into the tower, into the heavens. We might make this a bit less awkward looking once I have cheap buildcraft pipes. I mean, I could build a bunch of buildcraft pipes, but I don't have the gates to really use them effectively. And uh, yeah, we're just doing everything by hopper for the moment. So now we need to gather up some materials. I also think that I'm gonna want some chests. And yeah, I'm gonna want some more hopper. Gonna want some more hopper. It's the hopper. Am I the only one who remembers those commercials? Those stupid, stupid commercials? In the entire world, am I the only one? We had one of those in our household. It was actually kind of nice. Uh, it... No, it doesn't apply here. To my knowledge, the only things that require supports are um, are the underground biome stone. I think even regular Minecraft stone is still immune to gravity. Let me test it real quick. Do I have any? That's limestone. Um, well, it wouldn't be a good test anyway. I think that just having it floating is, is not always going to work in any case. 
Uh, more chests. More chest for the chest god. Okay. Dupe. Dupe. Just get them all to me. That stupid, stupid... It, it's the hopper! You put it on your TV and it, and it records. It's the hopper! Or, or however that went. It, it like it was a it was a really cheap early DVR for your TV that used the iconography of a kangaroo for whatever reason. Okay, so let's start carting over materials. So it's gonna need compressed stick, regular stick, and wood for the first layer, and that should be the most expensive. Yeah, I, I guess I shouldn't assume. Hmm. I don't have a lot of wood on the cooker right now. Well, we'll just put some more in. Might be time to cut down another sequoia. Might be time to fuel up the system. up all the systems just while I'm here, while I'm thinking of it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. They were a little bit... Uh, for all that they really tried to advertise themselves, they were a little bit, um... Excuse me one moment. Uh, no, I don't have the charcoalers running at this exact moment. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I think I'm gonna need to cut down another tree to get that running, aren't I? Where are they? Ah, no, we have a pile. We have a pile. Ah, yes, especially thank you for reminding me because, yeah, this is a spawnable space inside. Is there a, like, a refractory glass or something? I don't think refractory tank works. Yeah, that's refiable. Is that craftable? It doesn't appear to have a recipe. Oh well, we'll just have to remember to either fill this thing or light it up every time we empty it. Okay. Da, 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 da. In any case, compressed sticks. Yes. Okay, next stage of the dreaded, wonderful cog dance. Stone cog. Oh, those pebbles. Okay. First of all, do I have any in storage? A little bit. Hmm. We might need to make another crafting tower for sawmill blades, too, just for the nano machine frames. Ah, you're right. But yeah, yeah, I don't have, I have figured out how to automate production of these stone rocks, but I don't have an easy way to do it right now. Not without a lot of crafting. So let's, can I convert these into regular stone chunks? Stone rocks, I should say. Yeah. Um, any others that I have just sitting around? Oh, well, it'll do for the moment. Right, and also, 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 yes, you saw right that the stone cog demands stone rods. And as I mentioned before, with just a, when Blood Devon was the only one around, I think, these stone rods, to my knowledge, there is no way to automate them right now. The only recipe is on these anvils, and these anvils are incompatible with everything. I can't so much as put hoppers on these. 
So no matter how thoroughly I jank the system at the moment, cogs are not fully, fully automatable. They are pretty close. I've figured out means of producing everything except for these stone rods. So let's just produce a ton. So that we don't have to do this again for a goodly while. Well, I mean, other than the roof, my entire base is fire safe right now. Yep. Making enough to get this by for a little while. At least it's relatively fast when we only have to tap each one once. And this anvil lasts a good long time. But yeah, the only means I've thought of that this might be automatable at all is with uh, computer craft robots. And uh, we won't be seeing those for a little while. Yeah. Okay, next. The bone. We don't have a huge stock of bone. But we have a little bit. And yeah, that's just easy enough. And yep, yeah, I think the rest of them are just your conventional as you would expect, surround it with the resource in question. Do I really have no iron ingots in hand? N no, no. Automation happens when it's done entirely without thought, regardless of the actual, the actual um, entity doing the, doing the process. If there is a thinking entity doing the process, it's not automated. If I had a factory that was being run by a software AI, just a complete software entity that was sentient, I would consider that facility manned. And therefore not automated. It would be manual labor again. It would be very tool-assisted manual labor. I mean... Unless you consider the hands and feet of the facility to be the facility's, like, tools and stuff like that. In which case, then technically everything is being handmade. Okay, let's just... Let's just make some ingots. Yes, says me. I mean, if we don't want an AI rebellion on our hand... You know what? Save me from this tyranny backpack. Yeah. I mean, if you consider automation to be the production of a material without intervention by any thinking being, then anything... then a factory being run by an AI is not automated. If anything, you might consider the conditions worse than, like, Industrial Revolution, because then at least they had a team. If it's all being run by just one AI all alone. Ugh. Poor guy. 100% workload. You melted yet? Almost. Goody goody. Hmm. Smog is building up up there, but it does look like it's still draining. Let's just get 16 of them, because that should chunk up into quite a lot. And then, there we go, into you, and that's a little bit of iron for the process. 
Next, gold. Thankfully, we can just get that already done. Was it? Ah, it's the corners, of course. And there we go. And finally, diamond. Okay, and now we can go and program the cog machines. Huh. Are these torches infected? Yeah, nothing is 100% automated, I suppose. It's very highly automated. But nothing in life is 100% automated. I will agree on that conclusion. I find nothing in my philosophy that disagrees with that. And that means that we can always automate more. We can make it require even less intervention than before. Okay, climb the Tower of Jank. And begin the process. Hmm. I suppose, what's the end product of geology? Yeah, we don't want to put anything in until... Yes, there we go. Okay, so this is going to require three hoppers. Un. Du. Toi. And we might as well put chess on all of them. So we'll call this one the wood. We'll call this one the sticks. And we'll call this one the compressed sticks. And already we should see that once it, yep, it automatically just begins producing. Eh, I don't know if rock is the end product. Lazy crafting. Oh yes, gloriously lazy. So next, we just need to dupe. And instead of that... We make sure that it uses these rocks. There we go. And because these are fed by hoppers, we don't need to worry about overflow issues. Once it's full up, it'll simply stop crafting. In any case, we can put a hopper here and a hopper here. And put our supply of stone rods and our supply of rock. Moving on down the line. Yes, it crafts. It's alive. So next. Yep. Now that we have samples of the... I forgot the flint tier. I forgot the flint. Well, now that it's filtered, it won't overflow or cause any problems. Yeah, I know. This defies entropy. Isn't it wonderful? Shoot, I might have screwed up the whole spiral because I forgot that flint cogs were a thing. Oh well. If we have to, we'll drill it down into the maintenance layer. Because I'm not rebuilding that whole thing.
Hmm. Yeah, I suppose. It would mean I'd have to reprogram the whole thing. Well, let, let's see how bad the situation is. Let's continue down the line and see just how badly we derped. If I derped. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, I made eight auto crafting, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Now, this thing only needs just the one lonely hopper. Let's put it off to the side. And load it up with shards. And now this should be auto crafting in just a second. Next up should be bone. Yep. Look at the boons. And that again only needs just the one. It's bizarre how these get simpler as they go. Uh, yeah, I suppose. And, like, processes like stars and gravity. Well, saved by the fact that, uh, that I counted out how many types of cogs there were. And just made that many auto-crafting stations and piled them up however mindlessly, regardless of the actual reasons. So it's partially derp and partially just knowing myself. And down to iron. It's kind of planning around myself, you know? Next will be gold. I like gold. Mm-hmm. I know. I wish carpenters could have their slots filtered. I wish it so badly. But we don't live in that reality. Okay, next should be diamond. And I forgot to get obsidian, too. Regardless. Okay. And do I has any obsidian in storage? Probably not. Probably do another trip into the abyss, ain't we? That's fine. Let's check anyway. Hmm. What do you mean the boring route? The boring route of knowing I am an idiot and planning ahead for it? I suppose that's boring a bit. Yeah, only one piece of obsidian in storage. It's fine. Quick trip into the abyss we go. Why won't these hoppers... You know what? These hoppers must have been infected by something. That must be why they're not stacking. Well, thankfully, since they're placeable, disinfecting is easy. Yep. You just deconstruct it, reconstruct it, whatever. And you've got yourself disinfected. Okay. Your platine? Stupid platine. Oh, plating, I suppose. I'm not sure what you're talking about. The only thing I really had to make a lot of in regrowth with carpenters was circuit boards. At least that I recall. 
And yeah, that was a bit of a bear getting... No, not plantains. There, there were no crops named plantain in regrowth that I remembered. Ah, yes, yes. Um, yeah, I think that the conclusion I came to was just that... Oh, neat. Thank you, I, I learned a new word today. I think the conclusion that I came to was just that, um... You need to... You need to filter it just by overloading. Where... You need, um... An ME interface constantly outputting resources into them and just keeping them loaded to full. And that was the best solution I found. And I think then I had it shut off just, um, I think I tried to have it shut off by a redstone signal, but for whatever reason, mechanism pipes weren't operating like they should with redstone. Like, um, I think mechanism pipes should be able to, um, turn themselves off with redstone, like cease connecting to other pipes, but they weren't for whatever reason. So I just, I just like set up a big batch of carpenters, had them craft me like 5,000, 5,000, um, plat, platinins and... Then I just uh, shut it off by hand by deconstructing the pipe. And that's kind of how I did it in the end. Mm hmm. Yeah, carpenters are resistant to automation, unfortunately, it seems. What I really wish, I think my dream mod would be, like, an item that is configurable that acts as a universal filter. Like, it sits in a slot, and it will let the item that it's configured to into that slot, but nothing else. And just so it's universally compatible, you know? So that um, it can go into a carpenter, it can go into, like, an auto-crafting station, it can go into wherever you need filtering. A universal filter. I know, yeah, just... Ugh, discard them. I might just throw these out. Ugh, get them away. I need that sweet obsidian, and not all these useless diamonds. God. Ugh. It's just shiny carbon. I don't see what the big deal is. Unironically, we're probably going to have that attitude in a little while because um, eventually when I get all the excavators on all the resources, diamond is one of them. And then since we... Since diamond blocks are uh, harder to chunk up, yeah, these really would probably be something I would toss. Not now, though. We'll keep them just in case. Keep a little bit. Oh, wait. I have the rest in my bag. Eh, oh well. That's probably enough for a little while. Okay. We're just getting enough to load up the auto crafter just a little bit. I know. I mean, the same is true of the human body, of course. It's just fancy carbon, essentially. In before someone starts making the full metal alchemist jokes. I didn't watch that series all the way through. Like, I, I think I lost track of it somewhere around the time that, like, Scar started becoming a main character, and I just didn't like him. Yeah, it, it's just water and carbon, really, and a bit of other stuff.
At least I have a shiny chrome plating. Get on my level, scrubs. Alrighty then. And with that, we can finish the final cog dance, I think. Yeah, we should see a lovely bounty of these building up in here now. Yes, look at that. We just have a shelf filling up with them already. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that wonderful? We need more. Yeah, we need more. Oh well. So now the new cog dance is just gathering up a ton of shards and loading them into this thing. Which still isn't super great, but if we get a big load, then we shouldn't need to do it too often. Alrighty then. Let's just keep these in our bag for now. Yes! We have the Cog Dancer! Oh, isn't it gloriously beautiful? All right, so it needs more iron shards and it needs more gold shards. Well, that's easy enough. It probably needs more diamond shards too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I, I have a question for you. Do you mentally pronounce it Mechanicus or Mechanicus? Because I think that with the Latin themes of 40k, it should be Mechanicus, shouldn't it? Yeah, let's just make a bunch. Let's also just make a bunch and make a bunch. Get it stocked. And there we go. Just a little bit. Mechanicus? Oh dear. Uh, that's against the Omnisai's will. Yeah, you're just a heretic right there. Mm, gonna have to call down Exterminatus on you. So this should be the gold, right? Right. And this should be the iron, right? Right. Yeah, I haven't played... I, I, I mentally pronounce it Mechanicus just because I'm lazy. I, I, I haven't played Mechanicus yet. I want to, though. Oh, shoot. I didn't program this. Easy enough. Yes, yes. Everything ticks us off. We all have perpetual Lyme disease. It's a tragedy. All right, well. We have it. We have completed the cog dance forever. Forever. The cog dancer. Oh, a glorious lag spike to celebrate. Behold its janky might. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Now, we're going to be improving this over time, obviously. Eventually, we're going to get a mechanical artisan doing all the chunking up of the shards. We're going to get a source of automated wood, make the sticks and the boards and all that to get it going in here. But this is fundamentally how the machine is going to work. All we need to do is start automating the inputs going into it. And the only input we can't automate right now are those stone rods. Other than that, we now have easy cogs forever. All we need to do is just gather together the resources to chunk into this thing, give it a big batch of them, 
and we can essentially just pick out whatever cogs we need when we need them. Why ain't you running? Oh, bone. It needs more bone, of course. Let's give it a bit more. Oh boy, it might be time to set up a mob farm for the bone. Can I buy any from the Normans right now? Also, I might need to think of a system for those rocks. Yeah. Because it's probably out of rocks. Hmm. Either way, the cog dance is now so much easier. And with that, we can start working on all the machine frames and nano machine frames to make all the fancy artisan tables we're going to need. As well as to make our fancy block breakers. Hmm. Yeah, he's just slaughtering it. Off the chat, slaughtering a cow. Off the chat, slaughtering a cow. Make up your mind, man. Oh, right. I need to take out my money. Of course. I keep forgetting that I just don't have it on me anymore. Yeah, but um, I do have a bit of a plan, at least for getting skeletons. I can make a guaranteed skeleton only. I know where I can find a skeleton spawner. I know where I can find a skeleton spawner. So I can exploit that at least. I don't have an easy source of creeper farming, but I can farm skeletons. Yeah, yeah. We need to occasionally uh, take the game on down to the bone zone. Unfortunately, the villagers just aren't doing it for me, are they? Yeah, that's really not going to last. And yeah, I'm also probably going to have to run by and quarry up just some granite real quick and convert it all into stone rocks. Yep. We need more bones than that. At least if we're building to scale. We have a bit more. Let's let's throw in two stacks and see what that gets us. Part of the problem is that the system is still pressurizing, as it were. But yeah, oh yeah, I, I, I'm going to need rocks. I already know I'm going to need rocks. So let's make a bunch of fence posts to more safely and sanely mine. Just make a full batch. Ah, shoot, I don't have any sticks. Um, Do I have any in storage anywhere. No, I must have, yeah, I must have depleted the system with um, throwing it into the cog dancer. Oh well. Let's just build what we can and go dig up some rocks. I'm trying to be sane, you know? Just moderately so. Not going overboard on it or anything, but just just a little bit of basic sa sanity. Just to make me stand out, you know? This will also be good for hunting down some uh, limestone. We're low on that, I think.
Okay, this... Yeah, this level's looking good. So, let's just carve in a little bit. Yeah, see? That's, that's a problem. That right there is a problem. So, instead, let's take up all this cobble and get it on down to our level. Make a support. And that should stabilize things for a little ways around. Ah, hello, Evil Led. I think this is the first time I've seen you in here. Two, three, four. Welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, you've kind of come in when I'm getting close to wrapping things up. But um, I'm putting out an episode of JBTA per day. It's catching up to the stream. And uh, yeah, you can you can catch on up if you like. So that's one, two, three, four. Supports and light. And that's your pattern for safe and sane mining. Yes, everything unironically is so much safer with just that little matchstick. You saw how it went without it. The walls immediately smashed down on us. But yeah, just like that, we can pick up a few stacks of these. Hmm. Display cases all over the island. What do you mean? I don't recall seeing much in the way of display cases around the island. Yes, now we can just convert all those into the pebbles that we need. The drill things? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You were wondering about that, were you? Yes. That is indeed how they got there. They got there through a time lapse. Yeah, that was difficult to pull off in real time, you know. <clears throat> I had to hum the music and everything. And making myself run at super speed? God. Yeah, that's tiring. I don't want to do that very often. Okay, up to the top of the Tower of Derp. And which one of these is... I suppose it really doesn't particularly matter. But yeah, that's the one. I should mark these. And down on the next level, get it back to daytime so we don't freeze to death. Ah, shoot, Flint 2. Hmm. Flint 2. Well, there we just put things away nice and neat and tidy. And I think that after I stock it up on the Flint, I'll call it a day. I should have some in storage. If I can remember where I'm ke uh, I don't really have much. Oh dear. Well, we'll just have to hunt it down. Yeah, to my knowledge, I don't have an easy recipe for flint right now. That's something that needs to be hunted down. Yep, we made a nice little bit of... Well, we didn't make any quest progress. We made infrastructure progress. We have now made 
machine frames and nano machines a lot easier is what we've done which is going to make the block breakers a lot easier to build so we can start finally building a proper cobble gen no i'm not gonna cycle coal it's fine we don't need coal right now because i have an easier source of steel that i just need to build up to <laughs> Yeah, cycle the coal and don't refill the refill the uh, the thing. That would be a surprise, all right. But yes, behold, we have the cog dance done for us. No longer do we need to do all the relentless clicking. We just need to we just need to stock it up, and it's good. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't life so much better now? And this, I think, is a lovely day. Also, another bit of progress. We've started the platform. We have started the platform in capital letters. And won't that be fun? Building this out, starting the main, the proper Factorio main bus base. Oh, that'll be beautiful. Yeah, and we're going to need... We are going to need to put out Tinder, because rain sucks. <laughs> and we will. We will eventually be putting all that, we'll be laying all that pipe in there. Yeah, we'll be nestling that pipe deep inside that nice twisty dancer. Mm, it'll be great. But that'll be the type of thing that we start working our way up to next time. In the meantime, I'm a little bit worn out. I'm going to have to start cooking breakfast for the house pretty soon. So, all of you, thank you for joining me. Evil Ed, I'm sorry that you kind of joined right at the end of the stream, but I hope I see you again. 12th Century Fox, Blood Devon, it's wonderful to always see you. Take care, everyone. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening.